celebrate families. We have a family here to be dedicated to the Lord with a little one. Now, when he came in, I looked at him, he looked at me, and we all smiled because this is always a wonderful time. Don't they look good? Don't they look good? You all look wonderful. Let me help you up, Mom. At this time, I'm going to ask our elder, Elder Henry, if you please come forward as we have little Antonio, Antonio, Amir Antonio Castro, to be dedicated to God. We have a scripture reading that is prepared for this specific moment. Congratulations, first and foremost. Matthew 19, 13 through 15 says, Then children were brought to him, that he may lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked the people, but Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and went away. Now that scripture always speaks to me as it does, I'm sure, to you as parents. One of the blessings is to know that Christ loved children. Loved children so much that when the disciples try to prevent little ones from coming to Christ, he turned to, him, to them and he said, look, don't prevent these little ones because of such is the kingdom of heaven. If you want to know how to get to heaven, you've got to become like a little child. The reason why Christ would say that is because children are very innocent. And indeed, as Christians, we need to be in the same mindset, be very innocent. However, they're also very smart. Children learn, and we need to also learn. Each and every day, you would admit that Amir is learning new things. And guess who he's learning them from? The parents especially. When a child would look at the parent, would do certain things, you could admit that that's a mirror reflection of their parents. There are certain things that my children would say at times, and I would look at them and I would say, where did you get that from? They would pause. They would put up their finger and point right at me. And I say, but I say it like that? And they just nod their head. Yes, you do, Daddy. Whatever you do will be reflected in this little one. Whatever you say will be reflected by this little one. And how you live will be reflected by this little one. That's why it's so important to go to church. Amen? Because if you want them to go to church, you've got to pattern it so that they can follow. Now, when I looked up your little one's name, I found some things there. And of course, I'm going to bring that up. Um, but as a church, we support you wholeheartedly. The reason why individuals tend to bring their children into a church for a service like this one is, of course, because the Bible prescribes it, just as when Christ was born and he grew then they brought him back into the temple and dedicated him in the same way you're patterning that. Then um, you want Christ to bless your little one. That's why you're bringing him here. Because guess what? There are many individuals who are praying and hoping and wishing that God will bless them with a little one. But God saw fit to bless you both. Antonio, God bless you. God bless you, Roxanne. Because he saw that you needed Antonio a mayor in your life. So he blessed you with him. Then you're covenanting with God today that you're going to give back to him that which he has blessed you with. And that covenant is deep. When you make a covenant, it's an oath that you make with God. That since he has blessed you with a mayor, that you're bringing him back to be used by God. Now we don't know the future. We don't know anything about the future. But what we know is that once you place anything in the hands of God, he will use it the way that he sees fit. And today he has promised that he's going to take care of little Amir. I looked up his name, and the origin is Arabic. You know that. You guys know that. The origin is Arabic. It means, listen to this, church, prince, rich, cultivated, powerful, proclaim, treetop. Now, the older meaning was to be the commander of the army. 
it also means the ruler's son. Now, someone with that name is expected to show bravery, courage, strength, honor, and confidence. Man, he's always going to be at the treetop. Now, mind you, as you are always at the treetop, it means that there are others who are always going to try and tear you down. However, God has given this child to you because his name is great. He's going to be brave. He's going to show courage. He's going to show strength. He's going to be an honorable person. And he's going to walk with confidence. I also looked up your name, Antonio. It's a deep one. The origin is Spanish and Italian. I knew that before even looking it up. Now, the name means priceless. And here is the other name. Flower or flourishing. So I said, oh, my Lord. Here you have a child who is strong, who is brave, but also has a spot in his heart for others, but who is always going to flourish. Are you ready for that? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now, I went a little bit deeper into the name Antonio. It has a Latin origin and also Greek. In the Latin, it means worthy of praise or value. In the Greek, it has a meaning which is derived from antion, meaning without sale. In other words, if I was to twist it around a little bit, it means someone who cannot be bought out. Now, let me put my phone away and let me speak to the church and speak to you as a family and those who are here to support. In this day and age, individuals have placed value on almost everything and anything and people. You realize that? So, in other words, um, they would say, well, how much does that cost? And they believe that everybody has a price. And you've got to name your price. That's the society in which we live in. You work for someone and they ask you before you get the job, what price can we pay you to do this job? Am I right or wrong? So everyone, they say, has a value. The little one you have here is going to tell them, you can't pay me. Are you ready for that? Because you, Antonio, Amir, is without price. In this day and age, God is looking for men and women who are without price. And God is raising up little Amir to be able to stand and say, you can't buy me. He's strong, he's brave, he's courageous, and he's a reflection of what God desires for each and every one of us to be. Today you have brought this little one back to God, and we're praying over him. I'm going to ask Elder Henry, would you mind coming up today once again? Get comfortable with it. And if you would be mind taking little Amir away from the parents and hold him, show them, show them what they used to do. Now you gotta, you gotta trust him. See, see, he's like, he's like, nah, man, I'm here with daddy right now. So here's what we're gonna do. Stay with daddy, stay with daddy. Come on, come on, elder, come on, elder. We're gonna place our hands on this young man. Family, would you mind just coming on over? Put, put your hands on him, put your hands on him. Church, would you mind just reaching out, stretching out your hand here? And as you stretch out your hand, you're also showing that you commit to supporting this family using whatever means you have available. Is that true? Amen, amen. Let us pray together. Father in heaven, Lord, today we come to you bringing little Amir. Lord, we thank you for bringing him into the lives of his parents and every single person who's here today. Lord, you have blessed him. You have brought him into this world. He is strong. He's brave. He's exemplary. 
And I pray, oh God, that throughout his entire life, that he will learn more about you. And you would use his gifts, use his talents, use his finances to further your work. Lord, bless this little one. Be with little Amir Antonio. Allow for him to stand strong each day and proclaim that you are the one who breathed life into him and he will never be bought or sold. Father, I pray the same for his parents, that you allow for them to utilize the school and their home and this church to be able to grow little Amir Antonio in the way that you have fashioned. Lord, bless them, keep them, provide for them, strengthen them, and allow for them to use whatever influence they have to be utilized for you and your work. And when it's all said and done and you shall return as Lord, Savior, and King, we ask, O oh God, that you who have protected little Amir and provided for them, that you will find him with them standing on the sea of glass saying, Truly, we have served you, we have given you our all. We thank you, O oh God, and we praise you, and we can't wait to see you face to face. This we pray in Jesus' name. Let all of God's people say, Amen, Amen. God bless you, parents. God bless you. There are a few items that the church has a ministry, children's ministry has that they would like to present to you and your family. And we have our children's ministry leader who's going to share more about that. All right. So we would like to present Little Amir, born September 3rd, with a small token of our appreciation from our Tabernacle Children and Youth Ministry. First, this is his uh, baby blessing certificate. So he has a um, memorabilia from today. All right, we also have a gift basket for you. And in that gift basket, we have his first Bible and a um, few other tokens, as well as the book Child Guidance that you will use to help him, to train him to be that powerful young man that Pastor talked about. All right, and we also have a piggy bank and a storybook. It's a powerful storybook that we have chosen. And we would just like to welcome you and we look forward to seeing you and the rest of the family at church and in our children's ministry programs that we have here at Tabernacle. And also, Pastor has a special gift in there for Amir as well that he can speak to. That special gift is a letter addressed to Amir. It is not to you. <laughs> Although you hold it uh, and you're supposed to hold it for years to come. Um, the day when he celebrates his eighth birthday and he's cutting cake or a big cookie or a vegan cupcake, whatever you choose, um, just know that on that day, you're to open that letter, present it to him so that he can open it and read it. I I'll tell you the contents so that you won't be opening his mail. Um, <laughs> the contents is that it's reminding him that he was dedicated on this day at this church. And it reminds him that he can go back and review the video because um, he wants to see who was there. Now, eight years into the future, it might be more handy for him to be able to access the videos. Um, but he'll be able to recall all that has happened on that day. The wonderful thing about it in that letter, it, is, it, it reminds him that just as he was dedicated to God on that day, that he must now himself give that, make that decision to give his life to, to Jesus Christ. And we hope on that day that we'll all be able to celebrate with that time, reminding him that he was dedicated here, he grew up here, all these faces will be around to celebrate that moment when he gets into the baptistry to give his life completely, and we can celebrate with you all. Amen. Thank you all so much, family. We love you, and we pray and continue that, that as we walk each day, that we get closer and closer to the day that we will see our Lord. God bless you guys. Thank you so Amen. much.